This is Welsh ASMR 82. How are you doing? suggested, and I like the suggestion, that because it's too big to tackle by in one go, um, I'm going to do some states individually. So, I happen to be looking on the app that I've got as a YouTube. is that um, mainly my views come from the UK, Russia and the US. And I think the US might be the most. So, hello. Um, hello over there on the other side of the water. I do hope you're well. Today I'm going to do the first of 50, maybe, <laughs> keep myself busy, um, videos on the US. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be carrying on for like 25 years trying to get through all the states, considering how slow and how long it's taken me to do one. But okay, I made it. So, I was thinking about where to start, and I'm afraid it's going to be some of the more obvious ones that I'm going to begin with. So if you live, like, here, then um, it's probably not likely to be here for some time. Oh, well, I don't know. Send me your requests and let me inspire me. I don't know anything about, you know, places like New Mexico, Denver, are these states? I don't even know. Indianapolis, Columbus, Boston. I mean, I know Boston. Okay, so the obvious ones are going to be things like New York, Boston, Washington, Orlando, which I have actually been to. And then I really want to do a video about uh, Arizona. But I'm going to start off today with San Fran, um, not San Francisco, California. Um, because it's somewhere I really want to visit. And I've got a feeling I'm going to find out lots of really cool things about it today. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to start off having a look at the map of California. And then we're going to go to Wikipedia and look at some facts and figures. And with the states, I mean, apart from general knowledge, I really don't know that much. If we did a, um, a video on, I don't know, Argentina, I studied Argentina as part of my degree in Hispanic studies. Cuba, the same. Mexico, the same. Spain, obviously. And Brazil. Um, so, um, I just happen to know about those countries a lot more. And we don't really study United States history in the UK too much. Um, and certainly not geography, so you, you, depending on how long you've been with me subscribing, you may recall the video when I discovered Seattle is up here 
because I thought it was like there. <laughs> it's an hysterical watch. You should just go back through my videos and find it. I'm like, what is there? No way. Yeah, um, I mean, I can't, I still can't believe Chicago was all the way over there. I thought that was there. Anyway, so I'm, I would say that I'm not dumb when it comes to the US. I'm just average in terms of what someone in the UK knows about. Um, some people know lots more, definitely, but trust me, I, at least I know some stuff. I remember when the elections were happening in the US, they went round in the UK and asked the news, asked them who should win, and very famously, some people were like, oh, I'll be voting for so-and-so, or, you know. And they, the news reporter said to them, oh, you, you, you can't vote. And they just, like, went crazy, and they were like, I, what the, you're taking away my voting rights. It's like, you don't live in the US. You can't vote in the elections. Um, so, yeah, at least I know that I don't live in the US. Uh, and I know where it is. Okay. That's my introduction. <laughs> Just before I embarrass myself further. Okay, so at least I know where California is. Possibly because I know about Baja California. For um, Mexico. Uh, this is the Gulf of California here. So, yeah, this is where the border is, I believe. I'll just give it a second. Yeah. So, Tijuana is just here, and then San Diego is just there. Oh, is this the. Yeah. Mexicali. I think I saw this on like um, a program recently. How. have weird borders in Europe as well. There's this, um, I think it's a town, um, I think there's this town in Belgium, and at the end of the road it's the Netherlands, so it's a different country, and there was something that happened there, like, something that meant, oh, I can't remember what it was, but it meant that if you were living at the top of the street, you couldn't do something, and at the bottom of the street you could. Because of the laws in the different countries. I digress. Okay. So, let's go back to the coast. I think my general knowledge tells me that most of the major cities are on the coast. Particularly in the case of California. So, San Diego, St. James in Espanol. here. Hmm. Is that a natural port? The other thing, I think this is the other reason I really like um, California is because the names are all in Spanish and I get them. So California is Spanish for, um, oh, am I going to say this right? Do I know this? Or I'll just guess. It's like the place with lots of flowers, no? Related to, I'm gonna have to okay, we'll we'll look on the Wikipedia article. I think it means like hot place of flowers, but I can't remember. San Diego, Saint James, wooded area. <laughs> really? Is the name of the area wooded area? And there are old houses. Point Loma Nazarene University. 
if you don't know my series yet of maps, then basically I see a stadium and just zoom in straight away. But this is a baseball stadium. Is that baseball? Yeah, that's where the pitchers go, right? Tennis courts. Sports areas here. Port Loma Recreation. San Diego Bay. Coronado. Oh, North Island Naval Air Station. Fun place to visit. Wow, that's pretty. Vacation Island. It's called Paradise something. Vacation Island. Wow, that's so cool. Bahia Resort Hotel. Belmont Park. Four. So I get the feeling that San Diego is absolutely massive. Is this still San Diego? Oh, right, so San Diego goes right down to the border. Cracky. Yeah, all these, um, hmm, la mesa, the table, la presa, all Spanish names, chula vista, cool view, <laughs> that's awesome. I want to live in chula vista. It's muy chulo, chula vista. Okay, maybe we'll come back, but I know there's lots to see, so that's San Diego. Santa Catalina Island. Oh, that's Long Beach, Los Angeles. Oh, okay. So they're really not that, I'm going to say they're not that far away, but actually I have no, that's probably like hours, isn't it? Oh, let me just zoom out for a sec. Because I'm from Britain and you can drive from top to bottom in like 10 hours. Yeah, I'm going to retract that statement. It, it is closer than I thought. So, Los Angeles is there. I just want to have a little overview for a sec. San Jose. Yosemite National Park. Where's the border? Is that the border? I can't see it very clearly. Oh, hang on. It's the orange bit. Oh, okay. So, California. Is that Sacramento? Zoom back in. Is that the port? Yeah, that is. Okay. So Sacramento is in, but Winters and Fairfield is out, right? I don't know, maybe the orange is just the motorway. Mm, still California. Maybe, okay, so it must be this line. Oh yeah, because American borders are like super strict. So California is 
huge. Oh, there we are. So this is what, Oregon? Portland, Oregon. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Hang on, what? So California goes all the way up. And this is the next. There's only one between it and Canada. Wow. It's huge. So it's kind of like long and thin, like a Norway, rather than a France, which is, you know, rounder. So, I mentioned before, I'm, I've heard of Chico. I have a, oh, Panga. It's like in Wales. I'm sure it's the same as in Wales. <laughs> Lots of sheep everywhere and rain. Chico. Durham. Glen. Sacramento. Wildlife Refuge. Princeton. Oh, is that Princeton, Princeton? Or just the name of the place? Because you never know with America, right? You've got like 4,000 Londons in America. Butte. City. Oh yeah, highway. I called it a motorway earlier on. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, so this is the where the tectonic plates hit. This is why there are so many earthquakes, right? Because there's a tectonic plate underneath here. And it's over the Yosemite Park. Okay, so there's really high land here, so that must be where the tectonic plates have come together. Mammoth. What was it? Plakes. Bakes. Oh no, it's gone forever. I'll never know. Upper Falls, Mill City. Mammoth Lakes. Oh, okay. I thought I said cakes. <laughs> Mono Lake. Wow. It's pretty. Okay, let's head back to the coast. Now I've had my sightseeing. Oakland. Oh, San Jose. Santa Cruz. Salinas. Paso Robles, San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, what's that? Lomp, what? Guadalupe, Los Alamos. Santa Maria, LA, um, oh, but where is San Francisco then? I will get to LA in a second, I promise. So we, Los Angeles. One see the bridge. So it must be towards the coast if there's a bridge, right? It's really iconic. It's in every disaster movie ever. Okay, so we've gone too far north. Nevada there. 
strawberry, a cute Stockton, Modesto, Merced, Fresno, Bakersfield, <laughs> California City, never heard of you, I'm afraid. So this LA. Okay, well, I'll have a look at this and then Why is it hiding from me? Where have you gone? I thought they were all in a row San Francisco I think it'd be a bit more obvious why was it in larger writing? Oakland was. San Jose was. So is the bridge here? Oh, is that what I think it is? No. <laughs> Treasure Island. That's not where I was thinking. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Calm, calm. So it links the north part here with the southern part. If I, from my vague knowledge, this is the more populous area, and then the northern part isn't, and that's where all the trees are. National Recreation Area. I'm just thinking of that film, The um, Planet of the Apes. So that is the Golden Gate Bridge. That is beautiful. We saw, when I did the video on Italy, Certain things didn't translate well into um, the map, did it? The Leaning Tower of Pisa was just a blob, for example. Whereas this one you can see and the shadow. It was taken just around midday, maybe. Um, so the shadow was just underneath the bridge. It frames it perfectly. And you can see, although the funny thing is obviously when they were moving, there's some, uh, obviously, <laughs> I don't think for a second that the supporting cables are that wobbly and slack. <laughs> it's just a consequence of the movement of the camera more than anything, I suppose. I hope. Okay, I'm happy now. I've seen it. San Fran National Cemetery. Presidio Golf Course. Oh wow, look at all these houses. This is the thing that always gets me about the US, how um, uniformly built. Because it's a new country, right? When you compare it to um, Washington Eagles. When you compare it to the UK, you know, our houses, my, my grandmother's house was like 200 years old. Um, so, um, yeah, what was my point? Um, yeah, so my point was that when they built it, they didn't have all these rickety roads everywhere. They just said, right, we're going to build some houses. Let's do blocks. 
then they put the houses in. Whereas in Britain, everything's just all over the place. some sort of sport. Okay, this is San Francisco. Los Angeles, sorry. Yeah, so San Francisco, right? Look at where we are. Foster City, Catamaran Park, Farragut Park, Catch Park. It's very densely populated in areas, isn't it? Must be really beautiful down by the sea, though. Particularly because of the Pacific Ocean being so beautifully blue and the heat of the area in general. Is that Stanford? Is that like University Stanford stuff? Stanford Stadium, Stanford University, oh wow. So Stanford kind of the American version of Cambridge and Oxford, right? I think. It's also huge. There's so much of it. It's just still here. It can keep going. Stanford Stadium. I guess that's for American football. I can't see the goals. Baseball. Yeah, let's look at the facilities. Wow, are they pools? Outdoor pools. Awesome. That is one rich university. Tennis court. Maybe they specialise in sport. I'll find out. Bing concert hall. It's all going on over here. So, where were we? We were looking at, I'm just about to look at, three times. Long Beach. Yeah, that's a, that's a long way from the other cities, so we'll see. Oakland, so yeah, it's just there. And these are right down here, Los Angeles and San Diego, so it's quite a long distance between those two. Okay, let's have a look at Long Beach. Ah, yeah, Los Angeles, Long Beach. Actually. Yeah, Aquarium. I love aquariums. 
Los Angeles Harbour College. from um, the football stadium I don't know what Los Angeles is necessarily famous for it's not got off the top of my head it's not got you know um, like the, the bridge or the Empire State Building in New York or Disneyland in Florida Disney World oh Disneyland should be around here somewhere as well should we have a look at that in a second been to the one in Florida as a child. Again, I think Los Angeles is one of the cities in the US with a massive, massive population. Oh, Compton, East Compton, Linwood, Willowbrook, Southgate, Santa Fe, Springs, Pico Rivera, Bell Gardens. Yes, it's still going. Wow. Absolutely huge. Los Angeles, still Los Angeles. This is downtown. A lot more commercial buildings here, but then I suppose people live in flats and apartments. What is this? Oh my goodness, that is. Oh, the Dodger Stadium. I think I've heard of that. That is impressive. Really noisy cars going back and forth tonight. I'm going to stop every couple of minutes. Los Angeles is officially huge. Glendale. Have you heard of Glendale? Burbank. Bob Hope Airport. Wow, it's still going. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> now I realise my mistake. It's like, there's nothing famous but look. Oh, Hollywood. Now, in my defence, Bella, in my defence, I kind of didn't associate Hollywood with Los Angeles for some reason. Maybe because I'm a silly Brit. Sure. Can we? Oh. 
suppose it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack if I look for the Hollywood sign, right? May as well not waste my time. Come on guys, am I warm? Okay, I think I'm gonna cheat. feel wow there's an airport in the middle of the houses that's crazy north hills i kind of feel like the football stadium i fancied seeing is near hollywood So, I'm a massive cheat. Um, okay, Hollywood, I need to find Hollywood Reservoir.
you can't actually see the words, but you can see the shadow, which is cool. And then lastly, I did my research again and found that the stadium is right next to Compton. Funded. LA Galaxy is the pub center. Yeah, the dignity, health, and sports park. So, California, maybe I can zoom in a little bit. California is a state in the Pacific region of the United States with 39.5 million residents across a total area of about 163,000 square miles. California is the most populous U.S. state, that we are thought so, and the third largest by area. Yeah, that makes sense, because it was massive. Um, it is also the world's 34th most populous sub-national entity. Hmm. I guess places like Sao Paulo, places in China, like Shanghai, and places in India, like Chennai, would be up right up there as well. California is also the most populated sub-national entity in North America. Yeah, makes sense. And has its state capital in Sacramento. Oh, I just assumed that L.A. was for Cal yeah, I suppose. The greater Los Angeles area and the San Francisco Bay area 
are the nation's second and fifth most populous urgent re- urban regions, with 18.7 million and 9.7 million residents, respectively. Los Angeles is California's most populous city, and the country's second most populous, after New York City. Mm-hmm. It, didn't, it looked huge, with loads of houses. California also has the nation's most populous county, Los Angeles County, and its largest county by area, San Bernardino County. The city and county of San Francisco is both the country's second most densely populated major city after New York City, and the fifth most densely populated county behind only four of the five New York City boroughs. Mm-hmm. Boring numbers, blah blah blah. So that's the flag. It's in California Republic, interestingly, with a star. otherwise it would actually border on two countries which no other state would would be even close to doing Mexico and Canada California culture is considered a global trendsetter in popular culture communication information innovation environmentalism economics politics and entertainment As a result of the state's diversity and migration, California integrates foods, languages and traditions from other areas across the country and around the globe. Yeah, Chinatown. I forgot to see Chinatown actually. It's supposed to be amazing though. It is considered the origin of the American film industry, the hippie counterculture, barbecue, fast food, beach and car culture, the internet, and the personal computer, amongst others. The San Fran Bay area and the greater LA area are widely seen as centres of the global technology and entertainment industries, respectively. California's agriculture industry is the highest output of any U.S. state. Hmm. California shares a border with Oregon to the north, Nevada and Arizona to the east, and the Mexican state of Baja California to the south. The state's diverse geography ranges from the Pacific coast in the west to the Sierra, Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada mountain range in the east, and from the Redwood and Douglas fir forests in the northwest to the Mojave Desert in the southeast. The Central Valley, a major agricultural area, dominates the state's centre. Although California is well known for its warm Mediterranean climate, the large this is what I was thinking, the large size of the state results in climates that vary from moist temperature rainforest in the north to arid desert in the interior, as well as snowy alpine in the mountains. Over time, drought and wildfire, wildfires have become more frequent. What is now California, 
was first settled by various native Californian tribes before being explored by a number of Europeans during the 16th and 17th centuries. The Spanish Empire then claimed and colonised it in 1804. It was included in the Alta California province within the Viceroyalty of New Spain. The area became a part of Mexico in 1821 following its successful war for independence but was ceded to the United States in 1848. Uh, the area became a part of Mexico in 1821, following its successful war for independence, but was ceded to the United States in 1848 after the Mexican-American War. The western portion of Alta California was then organised admitted as the 31st state on September the 9th, 1850, as late as that. The California Gold Rush starting in 1848 led to dramatic social and demographic changes with large-scale emigration from the east and abroad with an accompanying economic boom. Spaniards gave the name Las Californias, the peninsula of Baja California, and to Alta California, the region that became the present-day state, states of California, Nevada, and Utah, and parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Wyoming. The name likely derived from the mythical island of California in the fictional story of Queen Calafia, as recorded in a 1510 work, The Adventures of Esplandian, by Garci Rodriguez de Montalvo. This work was the fifth in a popular Spanish chivalric romance series that began with Amadis de Gaula. Queen Calafia's kingdom was said to be a remote land, rich in gold and pearls, inhabited by beautiful black women who wore gold armour and lived like Amazons, as well as griffins and other strange beasts. In the fictional paradise, the ruler, Queen Calafia, fought alongside Muslims, and her name may have been chosen to echo the title of a Muslim leader, the Caliph. It is possible the name California was meant to imply the island was a caliphate. Oh, wow, okay, I totally got that wrong. idea that California is an island is interesting. Uh, despite the on-the-ground explorations of California in the 16th century, Rodriguez's idea of California as an island persisted. That depiction appeared on many European maps well into the 18th century. And that it was in investigated, founded by Filipino sailors. It's interesting too. Yeah, the diseases, meals and diphtheria. Russians, to the same period, Russian ships also explored along the Californian coast and established a trading post at Fort Ross. In 1821, the Mexican War of Independence gave Mexico, including California, independence from Spain. For the next 25 years, Alta California remained as a remote, sparsely populated, northwestern administrative district of the newly independent country of Mexico. 
after Mexican independence from Spain, the missions, which controlled most of the best land in the state, were secularized by 1834 and became the property of the Mexican government. These huge ranchos or cattle ranches emerged as the dominant institutions of Mexican California. The ranchos developed under ownership by Californios, Hispanics native of California, who traded cowhides and tallow with Boston merchants. One of the largest ranchers in California was John Marsh. After failing to abstain, obtain justice against squatters on his land from the Mexican courts, he determined that California should become part of the United States. Marsh conducted a letter-writing campaign, espousing the California climate, the soil, and other reasons to settle there, as well as the best route to follow, which became known as Marsh's Route. His letters were read, re-read, passed around and printed in newspapers throughout the country and started the first wagon trains rolling to California. He invited immigrants to stay on his ranch until they could get settled and assisted in their obtaining passports. After ushering in the period of organised immigration to California, Marsh helped end the rule of the last Mexican governor of California thereby paving the way to California's ultimate acquisition by the United States. So you're telling me that it's part of the United States because someone had some squatters on his farm. Route 66. To meet the population's needs, major engineering feats like the California and Los Angeles aqueducts. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge was built across the state. The state government also adopted the California Master Plan for Higher Education to develop a highly efficient system of public education. Meanwhile, attracted to the mild Mediterranean climate, cheap land, and the state's wide variety of geography, filmmakers established the studio system in Hollywood in the 20s. California manufactured 8.7% of total United States military armaments produced during World War II, ranking third behind New York and Michigan amongst the 48 states. California, however, easily ranked first in production of military ships, During the 20th century, two great disasters happened in California, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and the 1928 St. Francis Dam flood remain the deadliest in US history. Although air pollution problems have been reduced, health problems associated with pollution have continued. The brown haze, known as smog, has been substantially abated after the passage of federal and state restrictions on automobile exhaust.
California is the third largest state in the United States in area after Alaska and Texas. California is often geographically bisected into two regions, southern, comprising the ten southernmost counties, and northern, with the 48 northernmost counties. It is bordered by Oregon to the north, Nevada to the east and northeast, Arizona to the southeast, the Pacific Ocean to the west. It shares an international border with the Mexican state of Baja California to the south, which makes up which makes it what? With which it makes a part of the California region of North America alongside Baja California Sur. In the middle of the state is the valley surrounded by Sierra Nevada to the east, coastal mountain ranges in the west. The Cascade Range to the north and the Dea Chapi Mountains in the south. The Central Valley is California's productive agricultural heartland. The Sacramento San Joaquin River Delta is a critical water supply hub for the state. The majority of California's cities are located in either the San Fran Bay Area or Sacramento Metropolitan Area in Northern California, uh, or the Los Angeles Area, uh, the Riverside San Bernardino Inland Empire, or the San Diego Metropolitan Area in Southern California. subject to tsunamis, floods, droughts, Santa Ana winds, wildfires, landslides on steep terrain, and has several volcanoes. It has many earthquakes due to several faults running through the state, the largest being the San Andreas Fault. About 37,000 earthquakes are recorded each year, but most are too small to be felt. relaxed and it's all the same.